city of Coquitlam has been growing very rapidly. Today we're going to discuss the 5 reasons people are moving to Coquitlam, BC. Let's dive in right now. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Litvak Joseph. I'm a local realtor here in Greater Vancouver and a resident of Coquitlam, BC. Every week I put up a new video telling you about all the different neighborhoods and the different lifestyles that Greater Vancouver has to offer. If you're new here, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button so you can also get notified anytime I have a brand new video out for you. Lastly, I would love to hear from those of you who are thinking about making a move to the area. We have been helping many foes to move out here and I can't wait to answer any of your questions. Let's get into the topic. The distance between Coquitlam and Vancouver is about 27 kilometers. It takes about 30 minutes of a drive from Coquitlam to the east side of Vancouver. The snowy season here starts around December all the way to mid-March and the very warm season starts mid-June to mid-September. Coquitlam in particular gets a lot of sun and it gets really hot. So we get to enjoy a lot of summery days in the summer. So what I love about Coquitlam, number one, transportation. For those of you who are traveling to Vancouver or Burnaby, Coquitlam City actually made a lot of changes to make it much easier to commute. Throughout Coquitlam, there are a variety of options when it comes to transit, such as West Coast Express, the SkyTrain and the regular buses. The West Coast Express is an express bus with limited stops. It stops at Coquitlam Central Station, runs west about 40 minutes to downtown Vancouver or east all the way to Mission. The SkyTrain system is also very efficient. The Evergreen SkyTrain lines run from Coquitlam Town Center area by North Coquitlam through Port Moody and re-enters Coquitlam on the North Road when it joins with the existing SkyTrain system at Low Heat Town Center. For Coquitlam residents on the more southern side, Low Heat SkyTrain Station or Braid Station are easy to access and are ideal SkyTrain options. For those of you who drive, Coquitlam provides a very central locations for access to Burnaby, Port Coquitlam, Pet Meadows, Maple Ridge and all the other cities around. Barnett Highway runs through Coquitlam and through Port Moody all the way to Hastings Street in Vancouver. There is also a very easy access from Lowheed Highway directly to the Golden Hills Bridge and also to the Portman Bridge. So if you need to commute to work or to any other area in Vancouver, it's very easy and very fast. The other thing I love about Coquitlam is the arts and entertainment here. Coquitlam's Hard Rock Casino is a popular choice of entertainment out here as well as the Silver City, Coquitlam's movie complex with 20 screens and VIP options. The Evergreen Cultural Center is near the town center park and is a venue for arts and culture in which they host a wide variety of community events. There are 264-seat block box theater, rehearsal hall, art studio, and art gallery. There are also a number of choirs and theater societies that practice at the Evergreen Cultural Center. The art center has been around since 1972 in Coquitlam and plays a big part to the community. Place This Arts is a non-profit teaching arts center in Millardville that offers a variety of programs in the visual arts, music, acting, and dance. It is a fantastic place for young kids and adults to learn and expand their love for the arts, whether it be pottery, yoga, ballet, piano, violin, painting, drawing, and more. Place the Arts offers faculty concerts throughout the year and participates competitively in some areas as well. Place Maylordville is also a community center provides leisure activities for all ages and groups, with programs on French language, culture, as well as physical activities, Heritage Square offers visitors a wealth of historic sites, gardens, a bike path, and an outdoor amphitheater. Next on my list are Coquitlam's malls and shopping. Coquitlam Center Shopping is the biggest mall in the Tri-Cities and located in North Coquitlam. It is the hub of city center and a popular spot for a quick bite to eat, grocery shopping, entertainment, or just good old-fashioned shopping. Meanwhile, a master planning process for the entire site will look at developing a downtown core with employment, housing, parks and transportation with distinct, innovative architecture. Situated on 57 acres of land in the heart of the Tri-Cities, Coquitlam Center features over 910,000 square feet of retails on two spacious levels. 
Coquitlam Center is the only shopping center in Metro Vancouver offering almost all the major brands and department stores all in one convenient location. The next thing is the trail system. The City of Coquitlam Master Trail Plan is a flexible guide for the provisions of the citywide road network of trails connecting people, places, public amenities to other municipalities and regional trail system. I have attached the link to the guide below in the description if you would like to further explore it. Coquitlam offers an amazing trail system. With so many trails to choose from, here are a few that I will recommend. Town Center Park and Hoy Creek Trail. All those trails are hard surface with an exception of the Nature Trail at the south end of Lafarge Lake providing access to the fishing pier. Trails are generally flat with a slight elevation. Next is the Como Lake Park, which has amazing trail around the little lake. Woodlands Trail is a great hike for you and if you have a dog. This is up Burke Mountain right near the Port Coquitlam and District Hunting and Fishing Club. As you go along the trail, there are a couple different waterfalls to go check out and are great summer time to get into and cool down. It is a popular spot for mountain biking, so be sure to keep an eye out for them. Mandy Park Trail is a great trail that also has a small off-leash area. This is a great spot to go for an early morning walk or run with your dog. Crystal Falls is a great place to go exploring with friends. Along the Coquitlam River, you'll get to the end and will get to a great waterfall. There are also many great spots along the river where you can just go down and hang out by. Coquitlam's Crunch is a good workout for those looking for one. It's like a many little grouse grind and many times you'll see water bottles and sweaters left at the bottom. A lot of the people will use it as their daily routine as they go up and down the mountain. Next on my list is the great schooling system. Coquitlam is served by the Great District No. 43, which offers elementary, middle and high schools. Coquitlam also has a very strong French Immersion school presence with many schools offering early French Immersion and middle offering late French Immersion. The city of Coquitlam offers four public secondary schools, seven middle schools and dozens of elementary schools. There are also two local colleges, Douglas and Coquitlam College. The nearby SFU University is just 10 to 20 minutes away. If you're interested about Coquitlam District Schools, I have a very comprehensive guide down below. Just click on it and I'll send it to you right away. I hope you really loved learning about Coquitlam because truly, this is one of the best cities around Vancouver. The commute is not too far. It has great schools, trails, park, and everything a family would dream of. If you found this information useful, please like and share so many other people learn about Coquitlam, British Columbia. See you next time. Cheers.